Hello, guys and gals, and this is episode <laughs> episode 55 of um, Vlog Friday, or Vlog Friday, however you want to say it, or however it is pronounced. I've never actually paid attention to how that one was pronounced. Anyways, um, we have um, some points to go over, as always, and... Um, and we'll get right to that. But first, we're going to talk about uh, procrastination. That's it, yeah. I know that I've probably discussed this one in the past, but it seems to be really, um, really poignant or, you know, one of those current hot topics. Anyways, uh, not to be confused with the store hot topics. Which was a lot like Spencer's in the mall, you know. Hot Topic. I think it was a clothing store or something. I don't know if I'd consider um, Hot... I mean, um, uh, Spencer's. Well, Spencer's d does sell, you know, like clothes. And I'm not even sure if Spencer's or Hot Topic are still around, actually. Because I never really... We visited there when we went to the mall once every so often. But we don't really go out of town very often. At least not to a mall. Which is fine with me because, I don't know. You know. Last mall I went to was um, kind of barren and empty. But that was, you know, I think during, you know, during the virus, when it was in full swing. But anyways, um, I got completely sidetracked. Anyways, procrastination is sometimes a little bit too easy. Um, it's easy to just put something off and then it doesn't get done, or you put off to the last minute, and then it's a big rush to get things done. Now, I will say that um, some people thrive under pressure like that, you know. If they have, like, very limited amount of time, then that causes them to focus more, and um, and basically, to them, it's beneficial. The little excitement or stress is, um, it helps get the adrenaline pumping and stuff like that. I honestly wish that I would procrastinate less, but sometimes things just take a while. Um, sometimes I have like a busy schedule and something takes way longer than it's supposed to. So I have to put something off and then put something else off and, you know, it's just like a domino effect. But um, procrastination isn't the end-all be-all, I guess. Um, it isn't the end of the world to procrastinate, but um, I'm trying to procrastinate less. Um, it used to be that um, I'd get, like, all my videos done, with a few exceptions, like, all done at the beginning of the week, and then, you know, but then it, I found out it was, like, easier to just space it out and get my videos done, you know, sometimes the day of, which was okay, too, but anyways, but like I say, procrastination isn't necessarily a bad thing, provided you get everything done that you are supposed to get done. Um, I know people... Yeah, well, it just depends on the way you perceive procrastination. Um, if you use it as a um, mo motivator to get things done, then it might actually be a good thing. Uh, but if it causes undue stress, then um, it might be a bad thing. It just depends on mindset. And there's a lot of things in life that really depend on mindset. And um, that can be seeing the positivity in most situations. And that is a good mindset to have. But we'll go get into more of that later. Anyways, um, just saw that, that that said 404. That means, uh, well, you know, there's always the error, error 404. <laughs> but yeah, um, the error 404 is like the computer code for file not found. So anytime you see a 404, even if it's like time, 404, well, time is not found, or 404, um, such, such and such is not found, just basically kind of like a meme. Anyways, um, we are going to get into these, and let's see what we got first. Um, if you do procrastinate, and, um, it is a stressful, <laughs> and it is a stressful situation, then it can basically lead to a depression. And one thing that you can do to basically get the symptoms of depression or other gloomies under control <coughs> is, 
is to, um, and I noticed I did say to symptoms, this is not going to help the root cause, which should be basically addressed. Um, anyways, um, do something you enjoy at least once a day. Make sure it's something legal and make sure it is something that is within your dietary wheelhouse. Make sure that's something healthy and that, that isn't going to harm you in any way. Um, and uh, just uh, be mindful of that. Um, I know that it, with diabetes, you're not supposed to eat sugar. With celiacs, you're not supposed to eat gluten. So you just need to be mindful of that. You don't want to do anything harmful or anything illegal. Um, again, legality is the main key here. Um, but yeah, um, it's really, really easy in this day and age to um, get hit by depression or other basically gloom inducing things and um that helps sometimes to uh do something that you enjoy um it's best to um maybe switch it up a little bit because it gets boring if you do something you enjoy the same thing every day because it becomes routine anyways and it isn't quite as special but anyways number two is there's always someone who cares and it can be someone in the support industry. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be, depends on worldview. It can be a um, religious leader. It could be um, any number of people that, uh, that care. Um, usually most people's go to people who care are family and immediate family. Um, but that, network can extend to close friends and even friends in general. Um, just basically confidants and friends like that. Um, and even significant others or um, the like. But yeah. But yeah, there's always someone who cares. And it's society sometimes makes it seem like you're alone or that they're that people don't care. You can be on a, pla a social platform and have millions of followers and you can still feel alone and you can even feel alone in a, a group of people in a at a party or something. But um, there is always someone who cares and at least someone who cares. So that's always something to remember. Number three is if you are suffering from an affliction, there is no shame in seeking help. And this is important too. Um, I think that in society, we've basically been brought up to, um, it depends really, but you've been, people have been brought up to, uh, have to adopt the, the whole lone wolf, um, viewpoint, um, the way, well, you know, people have been brought up to cope with everything on their own, um, to not really seek help to, you know, or maybe they were misled into thinking that seeking help is a weakness. And that really isn't the truth at all. Um, basically, a very well-adapted person will seek help because um, it's the right thing to do and because the realization is there that um, you can't do everything on your own. Um, then there's a, the, the whole... Um, what's the song? I think there's um, the song No Man is an Island or something like that. I think it was a philosophical notion. Um, and that's true. Um, sometimes people gravitate towards isolation and uh, maybe trying to take care of things by themselves when really it would be easier if they just had some help. Um, afflictions can be physical and also emotional and psychological. And um, some psychological... Um, situations or um, conditions um, basically require medication. So, um, I mean, like with bipolar and then paranoid schizophrenia, you basically have to have medication in order just to cope. And with some, like, um, depression, you don't really need medication, I suppose. But um, there are people that can handle it with um, other methods besides medication, and I admire people who are able to cope that way. But I also realize that there are people out there who can't. And um, there's no shame in seeking help. And there's 
the stigma towards at least mental illness and um, stuff like that has lessened, I think so, because people realize that there that is is beyond the person's control to actually handle that situation. Number four is no matter how bad things get, there is always hope, and um, this is trying. This is an effort to grasp for an overall, overarching, um, positivity. I don't know if I want to put it like that, though. Hope is positivity, I guess, but it is reasonable positivity. Um, there's a difference between happiness and hope. Well, no, I mean joy and happiness. Um... Happiness is typically situational. If you have a bad day, you're probably not going to be very happy. But with joy or hope, um, it's kind of, of an emotional thing that you feel deep down. And it allows you to pull through even when situations are bad. So it isn't situation-based. And um, sometimes it can be really difficult to grab onto that, that concept. Especially if things are especially bad. But... Um, it usually helps people to pull through. Number five is social tags and labels are pointless. People are people, and I always try to really emphasize this one because it is super important. Um, like I say, we can be having a bad day and someone can do something that really annoys us, and we can kind of forget that people are people. Everyone is a person composed of flesh and blood, and everyone makes mistakes. I mean, there's no one perfect. So, um, but it's easy to take offense sometimes, and um, it's best just to forget about offenses. Um, people will make mistakes, and like I don't know, maybe someone will cut you off in traffic or something, and um, that can really make someone mad. But um, it could just be that they're in their own little world which is kind of common these days. And uh, it's just kind of easy to get lost in one's own little world because life tends to be very stressful. Um, but always remember that people are people. It doesn't matter what color their skin is, what they believe in, what their religion is, what um, their sexual orientation is. What um, there's, People are different in so many ways, but in a lot of ways, people are also alike. And um, what's important is the ways that people are alike. People are people, and um, regardless of external factors, um, people are people and should all be respected. Number six is be yourself. There will never be another you, and this is the power of individuality. Um, I don't really see it much these days, but um, but um, when I was growing up, there was a... Um, and a phase of imitation, I guess, or it was the age of imitation. Um, everyone wanted to be like Mike, you know. No, I never really knew if they wanted to be like Michael Jordan or Mike Tyson, you know, it's like that. But um, I think it was Michael Jordan. I don't remember. That was like some kind of shoe commercial. And everyone was trying to be somebody else, or everyone wanted to be like, you know, a famous rapper or something. Um, then um, Eminem came out with The Real Slim Shady, and I think that that, Basically, I didn't really understood that song very much, but um, I, to me, it always seemed to indicate um, that um, there was a lot of indication, um, a lot of um, impersonation going around. So everyone trying to be Slim Shady because he's like this Roy Awesome guy, apparently. Um, by the way, the real Slim Shady is a really is a really good song. Um, I also really like Mockingbird by um, Eminem. Um, but anyways, it was basically, that was my interpretation of the song. Maybe I interpreted it wrong, but anyways. And so, yeah, it should, you should always be yourself and people will, will respect you even more if you're yourself because when you're trying to be someone else, you're not really fooling anybody. And, um, it's just, you're more well adjusted when you are being yourself and not trying to be someone else. Um, and there'd never be another person like you with the same thoughts and ideas. So always embrace that. Anyways, 
And lastly, always think positive thoughts. And we need to be careful with this because there is such a thing as um, deluding oneself into a false sense of um, everything's going to be fine. Or always trying to think positive thoughts as a way of um, basically coping with situations. Um, I'm talking about um, the silver lining in every cloud or trying to find a positive thing in every situation even the really bad situations. And um, I'm sure you can find at least one thing that's good in every situation. Um, one example would be um, maybe you're really sick, but at least you're not dead. Or um, that's probably not a very good example. Um, you're stuck in traffic, but at least there's a good song on the radio. That's a, probably a better example. Or um, it's raining outside, but at least it isn't snowing. Or there isn't ice on the roads or stuff like that. Usually you can find at least one good, one good thing to, um, to say. Or to, one good thing to uh, think about. Okay, that was loud. Anyways, um... I think that's going to do it for this. Just always be yourself and think positive thoughts. Anyways, this is going to do it for this video. I didn't realize it was going to go 17 minutes, but that's the way things happen. Anyways, if you like this content or if it has helped you in any way, then make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.